follow up when it comes to cold emails. This is a topic that's near and dear to both of our hearts. Uh, so how long do I wait to follow up on an email or phone after um, after somebody you know opened the first email or responded? Like once I got a little bit of a response, how quickly should I follow up? How quickly should I get in touch with them again? So if somebody's engaging with your emails, you should be jumping quickly to follow up. So you're top of mind. So if somebody opened that email, um, follow up immediately, right? Um, they, this typical like sales data has shown that when somebody inquires as a lead, you know, the first five minutes is when to get them and it kind of starts to taper off from there. It's the same thing if they engage. Now, where things really go wrong is when they don't engage and you follow up too often or um, you, know, you don't follow up too infrequently. Um, so think about the interval, that person that you're emailing and that cohort, and this is why I like to be um, very, very specific of who I'm emailing. So like if I'm emailing people in, um, across the world, I'm emailing people in Poland. Uh, let's say I'm, I'm, starting, I'm targeting startup founders in Europe. I would segment it based off the different countries first so I can have the right context, but also so I can follow up you know, at the right cadence. So if I'm emailing startup founders, if I follow up every three days, no big deal. These guys are on their phones until they fall asleep, their eyes close. And as soon as their eyes open, they grab their phone in bed reading emails. So one is, think about when that follow-up happens. Are they in bed reading your email? Is it, is it, is it at nighttime, morning? Is it during the day? Is it at lunch? Whatever. Um, and maybe you can time it properly. But number two is, uh, don't do it too frequently. And what I mean by too frequently is, uh, you know, if you're emailing anyone in the small business space or enterprise space, and you email, I found that if you email too often, like meaning within the next, within three days or five days, you don't wait long enough, by the time they actually check their email, your follow-up is already there. And so then the, they see the follow-up, not the main email, and you've kind of lost the point of your first email. So wait seven, eight days. Also think about the time the second email happens, right? So if you follow up in a seven-day interval, whatever day you email initially is the seven days afterwards. Is that the best time? Maybe you do six days, maybe you do eight days. So think about the day of the week that email goes on. And that's what I would, uh, there's no right or wrong, but find the persona you're emailing and how often they check email and address it to that.